hello guys welcome back your friend to play here again and today we're gonna start uh, this is going to be the first video of a small series of uh, let's say tutorials or uh, videos explaining how to do things on uh, playbox version 2 base and uh, where you can find things and how to use things so this one I'm just gonna go through with the new playbox version 2 uh, toolkit the new toolkit so you can go there's two options you can go to options and start it from here or we can just press f4 on the keyboard and it will go to the CLI so I'm gonna exit uh, as you'll notice, I removed a lot of uh, the problems we had in the past. You don't have to worry if it's um, if you're running the Playbox Toolkit within the ES or from the CLI. You don't have to do. You just it's your personal choice. I like it from the CLI anyway, but I can run it from here, no problems. So I just press exit. So I'm just gonna type 2p, or you just on the clean one you just press R up and you're gonna see 2p and press tab and automatically will fill in the rest so 2p does fix playbox <clears throat> and you press enter and here we are on the playbox toolkit so we go in and let's start here every time I update here and I update on the github you're gonna see the version and date so we we'll have version 2 of the toolkit and the date that there was the latest, I guess, commit or change I've done. So it was 4th of December 2020. Uh, 2020. And we have the main menu, which is, uh, uh, as you can see, the new structure of the toolkit is a nested, nice, cleaner, instead of just a long list. So we have eight options. Number one of the main menu, the Playbox Toolkit selection, we have the fixes option menu then number two we have the apps and tweaks option menu we have the cleanup tools option menu we have four system tool options menu we have thank you notes and credits to people that uh, have been supporting and helping in their own way uh, the last uh, couple of years since uh, i started uh, uh, being around basically after i released uh, my um, Playbox version 1 in October, November of 2018. Then the last one, which I enabled just today to the public, is to update your Playbox setup. And this way, every time I update uh, things on your Playbox, I don't have to tell you, you go and start with NCP or go to SFTP and do this, this and that. I will just uh, make sure that I update everything and then you just go there run it you can run it every day you, you, you know, it doesn't matter like you know whenever you want so you can make sure you're having the latest scripts and the latest changes that i will apply on uh, the back end and you so you can have always the latest fixes and updates so um uh, initially it's going to update the actual toolkit which is a single script of as i said uh, on the initial video of uh, more than 3200 lines of code and um, uh, if needed which is very minor now it would just my uh, my it might call an extra script or so just to do uh, extra things so basically the post fixes updates i'm going to keep it on a separate uh, script it doesn't have to do in the toolkit uh, it's uh, i would say unrelated to me to have it uh, in the toolkit the toolkit it would be the main script and everything needed uh, as of the initial release it would be there and it would only expand um, uh, so uh, it would just call if needed any extra toolkit post uh, uh, playbox not toolkit playbox uh, post updates or fixes and apply them too i try to make this uh, as clean as possible i want uh, things now to have a lot of things i don't want to leave garbage behind uh, so the scripts will apply uh, automatically any other dependencies so you won't have to uh, wonder what what do i do next or to play uh, what's going on you know no everything is just 
every script we just call its uh, dependent script or whatever need or run any other functions and uh, complete uh, the whole process for you and restart as needed and uh, confirm at the end of course and the last one we have the power of and restart uh, I know uh, for those of you that took the time and uh, watched the long 35 minutes video of uh, uh, the loaded image of um, uh, Rick Dangerous and Spire of the Dragon on my Playbox version 2 uh, you notice at the end I have this CRT side down effect that the CRT closes, closes and you see this little dot at the end and boom it just sat down you have the static sound and then everything goes in that used to be in the old TVs and uh, when you turn them off and so even if you power off or restart from here from the ES from a command that's what's gonna happen the Playbox version 2 we just sat down and prior we just play this sat down video with the old CRT static uh, sat down and um, then we'll continue with the process so let's get started with option one to explain all the things you need to know so let's go option one so we have the playbox fixes selection we have the fix the playbox retro pie menu now if you um, applied uh, an update if you go to the RetroPie setup and you updated your RetroPie menu which is basically not really needed to do that often in the core packages because uh, the package is uh, I think rarely being updated and has to do just with the main uh, functions of the RetroPie uh, setup options and the RetroPie menu so if you updated this if you updated the Dwayne Hurst um, themes uh, tool and uh, all of these they're going to be automatically by default as set by the RetroPie setup they're going to go all in the root um, uh, level of the RetroPie menu so basically you're going to just have the old long list of options now to have the clean uh, RetroPie menu that I have on Playbox version 1 and version 2 now you just have to go and apply this fix Playbox RetroPie menu you can do as I said that only if is needed only if you updated from the core packages the RetroPie menu I'm gonna run it is nothing wrong nothing to be afraid of even if you did it or not you can run it anytime so it will do that it will uh, reorganize anything as needed it will check anything and then it's gonna ask you to update or and apply the region script so I'm gonna click OK so I'll expl I'm explaining here what are uh, the regions so the US region has for those of you that want Genesis Sega 32 CD TGC Topographic 16 or CD the Odyssey 2 which is all from these uh, regions and then we have the EU uh, region that we have instead of Genesis we have Mega Drive Mega 32X and CD uh, PC Engine CD video pack and uh, the all regions that you have uh, the ones that have the Playbox or the Kodi as you can see and um, uh, basically you can select the whole region is if you want to have both uh, Genesis Mega Drive all the options to show uh, it's not really needed it's just gonna have let's say this one two three four five six six extra options uh, enabled which is basically you're gonna end up seeing a duplicate because uh, it's not uh, actual physical duplicate folders but they're symbolic links that I created so you can have as needed and avoid extra space taken so uh, it's the same system Genesis Mega Drive it's the same system just differences where it was um, sold and uh, where it was marketed so there we go and we select the top three one two and three is if you want to have again US EU or all options but as it says on the top region system options with playbox so instead of having the Kodi logo you have my playbox uh, logo uh, <clears throat> that's the main difference and then we have again the code that I've seen uh, I've uh, presented to you on the previous video and you can have again the US option uh, with Japan EU Japan number five option and number six again all 
So I'm just going to play uh, with 5, which is the one that I had on the loaded image. And then it tells you we need to restart system now and press any key to continue. I won't need to restart so we can continue the video. So I'm just going to cancel this. I'm going back to the CLI and I'm going to run it again so we can go back in and continue. Now we have option again one. Now uh, number two is the region system playbook setup. It's what option one calls. So instead of um, when you update ROMs, you're going to add ROMs uh, and things changing in your VS, the uh, emulation, emulation station will automatically sort to its default sorting of the system. So if you want to have my sorting and the way that I have on Playbox, all you need to do, you just go to region and uh, again you select one of the options that you want and you go back uh, sorry you run it and it will do the rest so we'll go back now we have the repair an option three either repair jukebox playbox body rpi os pi galaxy steam systems so these five uh, folders in case they were messed up because you deleted or you done something uh, by mistake basically what it does just repairs these folders so you can ignore this it doesn't really matter now we have number four repair playbox background music mute file this is the file that has all the entries required so if you messed up by mistake for those that uh, know or don't know and you went and chased this live wire uh, python file and you added something and it was messed up or it didn't work so you can repair it from here option four basically what it will do we we'll just restore the file and then come back to the menu. I'm just running it. It says OK, done. And here we are back to the menu. As I said, everything is safe. You don't have to worry. Everything is reversible and everything has steps uh, to be done automatically. Now we have the restore to play slideshow screen saver. So if you deleted accidentally or um, uh, I don't know, maybe you didn't like the photos and you will, that you see on the screensaver <coughs> of the emulation station and you messed up something or you uh, lost something you can go to option 5 and it will restore these images back to the way it was so I'm gonna run it as I said nothing to lose it's just simple safe stuff so it says ok done finish then we're back here now number 6 is the usual uh, we had before option that is also in the options uh, retro pie menu that you can reset all RetroPie controllers. So if you want to start from scratch, you're a builder or you uh, want to delete all the configurations of your controllers and start clean, you can go five uh, options, sorry, six and reset here. So it will delete and reset everything and will restart. And then you'll find yourself on the emulation st uh, station initial screen requesting to set up the first controller. Now the last one, uh, on the Playbox Fixes selection is the Fix, Reset, Clean, uh, RetroPie uh, Setup GitHub. So what happens here? Sometimes some people they decide to go and play around the script modules of the RetroPie Setup or for some reason uh, RetroPie Setup will give you an error say that uh, it cannot be updated and other kind of weird uh, behavior. So if you uh, run this option 7 it will reset and clean up the JIT um, folder of RetroPie setup and once you do that then you can go back to your RetroPie setup and you see that everything is restored as they have it on their JIT hub and you can apply uh, your updates, you can apply your um, configuration and anything else you needed. So let's go back, let's go to number two.